we have come together in the presence of God to witness and bless the joining together of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. The bond and covenant of marriage was established by God in creation, and our Lord Jesus Christ adorned this manner of life by his presence in his first miracle at the wedding of Cana Galilee. It signifies to us the mystery of the union between Christ and his church, and Holy Scripture commends it to be honored among all people. With that said, let us worship and ask God to bless this moment. Father, we thank you so much for these moments. These moments, God, where you bring two separate individuals, God, that are completely opposite from each other. Lord, but some way, God, you begin to fuse them together. And God, today we stand here today witnessing, God, the gift of love that you have given them. And we ask, Lord, would you bless this moment as the two individuals become one under you, God, and before all witnesses. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. We first met in college through my cousin Joseph. He introduced us right when I met Eddie. He came up to me, he's like... And I pretended to be her friend. Do you remember me? Do you remember me? And I was just like, who is this person? He was so cute when I first met him. He still is. She's nice to be around with, hang out, eat food. I don't know, it just clicks, you know? So, nothing specific. I have confidence in this marriage for a few reasons. You were, the two of you were brought up in godly homes where you were modeled a Christian marriage. The two of you guys are born again believers, right? The Bible says for us to, to have a successful marriage, we need to be equally yoked, meaning we have to follow the same blueprint for life and for this matter, marriage. And so the two of you guys are born again, holding in your hands the blueprint for your marriage. Um, what I look forward to is just starting our own family, having kids, and just raising children of God, and just, yeah, going on adventures, doing all that. Uh, your cooking's good. I love you. Pull out your ring. Her, her. Yeah, her ring. Her. I can hold it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> wow. In the name of God, I, Edward. In the name of God, I, Edward. Take you, Vanessa, to be my wife. Take you, Vanessa, to be my wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold to this day forward. For, for better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. That one usually makes people stutter. In the name of God, I, Vanessa. In the name of God, I, Vanessa. Take you, Edward. Take you, Edward. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better and for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Now that Edward and Vanessa have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, with joining of hands and giving and receiving of rings, I pronounce that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Edward, you may now kiss your bride. First time. <laughs> <laughs>